Sometimes we are asked to find the distance between a point and a line. In this situation, we have a straight line and we are given its equation. And we are given the point 3, 2. We want to know the distance between this point and this line. But you realize this point can be quite far from parts of the line and it can be quite close to other parts. When the question asks you to do this, what they are really asking for is the shortest distance between the point and the line. And that implies another line which is perpendicular to the first one. This is very important in solving the problem. What we really need to find the distance is the coordinates of this point right here. If we had those coordinates, we could use the distance formula and we would have our answer. But we have a couple of steps to go through before we can get those coordinates. We know that the slope of this line is one half. The equation is in y equals mx plus b form. m is equal to one half. And we know that since the two lines are perpendicular, the slope of this line has to be the negative reciprocal of one half. We write m1 equals one half. m1 is perpendicular to m2. Therefore, m2 must be negative 2 over 1. Now, using the slope formula and this slope and this point, we're able to derive the equation of this second perpendicular line. Let's do that. Negative 2 over 1 equals y minus 2 over x minus 3. Cross multiplying, we get negative 2 x minus 3 equals y minus 2. I'm going to write this backwards. y minus 2 equals negative 2 x minus 3. I am proceeding to isolate my y on the left side of the equal sign. y minus 2 equals negative 2 x plus 6. y equals negative 2 x plus 6 plus 2. So the equation of this second perpendicular line has to be y equals negative 2x plus 8. We're nearly there. Now that we know the equations of both lines, we can use comparison to find the point at which they cross, which is the point that we've been looking for this whole time. Doing comparison with these two equations, I get half x minus 3 equals negative 2x plus 8.